I'm getting ready to smoke our salmon real quick. What kind of salmon are we doing? Chum. It's um, a good one for smoking. A lot of people prefer to eat like kings and reds and silvers. Um, but chum are less for the like straight up eating. A lot of people like to smoke them, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to try and do with them this time. And so what did you just put in there? Oh, the, this is the the wood chips for that smoke. So you put them in, set them in here on the uh, the rocks here in the in the grill heating element thing, and then they'll okay. smoke and okay. provide that kind of flavor and heat a little bit. And we have an electric smoker. I don't know if I yeah, said that I already. Yeah, this up at a garage sale for ten bucks. I've never done smoking, but I did one batch last time, and it worked pretty good. All right, and what's next? Uh, putting the water bowl. I guess that helps hold some of the heat in here. Maybe gives a little moisture. Again, I'm no expert, but that's what comes with it. So you got the wood, water, lava rocks for heating. And what's the point of having lava rocks? I, what I heard or read somewhere is that the lava rocks don't like some rocks, like sedimentary rocks have like moisture in them and stuff. And that if you heat them up, they can pop or explode or crack and lava rocks don't do that. Um, so that's in there. Now the tray. So now my first, this is the chunks from two sand. And that's all that I can kind of fit in here. So that'll be our first batch and then we'll eat it <clears throat> or can it, I guess. All right. And you can can smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. I've never done it because like I said we're kind of new at the smoking stuff, but I know Peter has, so. Yeah. Maybe I'll if get, we don't eat it fast enough. Get his little recipe. And then where did you buy your lava rocks from? I got those just from uh, Lowe's, I think. Have Lowe's them has in, them. In the wood. So inside of here, this is what it looks like. The little grate goes above the water. Just pile them in there. Adding a few more. You think you'll be able to fit two whole salmon in there? Um, <laughs> it's iffy. These chum were huge. Yeah, I think. All right, so we put the second grate on top. Yeah. Does it matter how you layer it over the other ones? Not that I know. I keep the skin on because I read it's better, but I think you can do it either way. Avery, you want to put some fish on the smoker? I don't know. Go ahead, grab can it. Can I do it? Yeah, you girls want to come help? Can I do it, Daddy? Sure, my little gymnast with your little metal. Grab a piece. <laughs> it is getting dry. That's what we want. You have to. After we brined it overnight, I read you leave them. You gotta leave them out a little bit so they develop this um, kind of hard. I think it's called like pelican or something. I don't, maybe I'm wrong on that, but it's like a hard, uh, tacky surface, like and, a glaze kind yeah, of. Yeah, and the the smoke and flavor will stick to that better. Um, so you, I put it in a room down in our crawl space because it's kind of cool there, and then had a fan on it for a little bit. And so it felt tacky. And what do you put on it? What's the mixture that you brine it in? I just did uh, salt and brown sugar. Um, one guy said he likes to baste them in maple syrup while it's doing this. Uh huh. I'm not a fan. I don't like things too sweet. So um, the last time we did this, I did not do any basting in syrups or anything like that. And I thought it would taste it good. A so little bit more salty than sweet. I like it a little more salty. Yeah. yeah. And you're right. I got five big chunks here that I don't know are going to fit. So I'll have to come up with something else. Maybe I'll pull off the smaller ones. Uh, but it looks like we're maxed out. All right. Might, yeah, I might have to pull off the smaller ones and then um, yep. as they cook. I guess so. these are pretty big and fat. They'll take longer. Um, the small ones will be done in a couple hours, I think. And how long do we need to smoke it for? I don't know. I did it, I think, like four hours last time. But I just wait until it's super flaky, you know, 
Um, but I think there's probably about four hours. That's what I, I think I did last time. Mm -hmm. So why don't people eat chum? I don't know. Snobs. Snobs? The salmon snobs? Yeah, the salmon snobs. I like it. And I, I, I really don't know. I just how that's... You always grow up hearing, oh, kings, reds, and silvers. For eating. Nobody eats the chum. Well, okay. are, what's the other name for chum? Dog. Dog. Dog salmon. Yep. And is it, so I think if you're from here, there's like a myth that like mushers and people won't even eat the chum. They throw it to their dogs. Is that, have you heard that rumor? Mm -hmm. I don't know actually how that all started. I've been to villages and I've had people give me cooked chum like on, in a, on a platter for dinner, like right. just a filet. And it was actually, it was really good. So I know that that might just be a stereotype stereotype or something. I don't know how that got started, like a but, wife's I, but I know a lot of people don't, don't eat the chum as much. Um, just around here. Is but, it a texture thing? Is the meat texture you know, different? It's lighter looking and I don't know. Yeah. If it gets softer sooner, mm -hmm. um, that could be. And we got these chum right out of the ocean. I think a lot of people get it when it's in the rivers and it's hot. It's uh, they, they change pretty quick yeah. and they, they look ugly. <laughs> right. You know, they, they get the the gnarly looking mouth and they're kind of not as, I don't know, they're, they just look different. And I, I don't know if that's played into the yeah, aesthetically pleasing yeah, fish. Yeah, to why people are like that. Um, but I, I honestly don't know. And I don't, I'll eat them. Yeah, <laughs> let's give it a try. Do you want to show them a chum? Do you have a whole, a whole one? In the freezer. Or I mean, in the ice on the cooler. Can we grab one and just. Show them real quick, but it looks like whole. Yeah. So you said it's in the cooler, but I was not expecting to go this direction. Why is it over here? I put them in the horse trailer in case of bears. I we don't have that many bears right in this area. Well, somebody did just post there was a black bear. I saw that, so that's kind of what made me think of it. Um. So I was just so I, we didn't have bears come in. I threw them in this trailer and locked it. Little precaution. But here's a chum. They're big. They're, they're probably the second biggest salmon, actually, I think. Next to a king? Next to a king. Um, so how can you tell it's a chum? Stripes, maybe, the color? I think the, the stripes are what a lot of people go off of. See, they, and they, these get w much more pronounced. Yeah, when um, they get into the rivers. Yeah, that's kind of what I've always done, is look at the, the striping. And their mouths get pretty, I don't know. They get a more good pronounced. Hook, a good uh, hook on that. All of them do, eventually. Um, but they're kind of a little bit, yeah, more striped, more greenish. I don't know. Well, they get, I think they look pretty as they mature. They have really um, like a rainbow on their side of colors of reds and greens. Yeah. And no, they're, they're super cool. Okay. Yeah. So cool. we're not going to waste the chum. We're going to eat them uh, because I don't know. I don't know if I fall into the salmon snob category, but I think it can be pretty fishy <laughs> we'll and see. maybe a little mushy textured. So. But I'll eat it. I'll eat it smoked. Okay. So it's definitely looking a little different already. Yep. They're kind of starting to cook, dry out a little bit. It's been on there for what an hour? Hour? Uh, I think so. Hour uh, yeah, and a half. Should check the wood. It's not it's still not enough. Oh, so that's um, something I haven't seen yet. There's a little door. I can't tell how much it's smoking. If I need to add more wood in there or not. All right, so it's been about seven hours for the fish and um, I'm gonna go check on it and pull it and let you guys see what the finished product looks like. Hey guys, looks like Turkeys wanted to make a stakeout, maybe, of the salmon. I don't know. They've never come over here before. But they're chilling out on the porch with us, I guess. Alright. Alright, so that's the final batch. Yeah, it took a little bit longer than 
I think we said. I think it was more about seven hours, but these pieces were really thick, and I don't know, I kind of like them a little bit on the drier side, and uh, there's the final bit. And Are you eating some salmon? Alright, even the kids like it.